If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it. Photon Store is the best place to get PCGO codes online with instant email delivery. They already have Darkness Ablaze available in bundles of 50 codes, single codes, and the pre release promo box. What are you waiting for? Make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase when you're checking out. Millibotsgaming.com is the best place for you to find all the Darkness Ablaze singles you might need for your upcoming decks. Any Eternatus, anything you need. Make sure you get it at Millibots Gaming, and when you're checking out, make sure you use Tableman code for 5% off your final purchase. Tableman. Hello everyone, and welcome to our very first day of darkness ablaze thank you so much for being here all of you who are here thank you thank you so much very excited to be presenting this eternatus v max deck finally darkness ablaze is here have eternatus v max with its 340 hp and its ability eternal sun where if all of your pokemon play are dark type then you can have up to eight pokemon on your bench and you can't put non-dark Pokemon into play. Okay, so kind of like a Skyfield and Speedbox. Thank you so much for the follow around average as well. Thanks so much for following today. And then we have the Dreadend uh, attack, which does 30 damage for each of your dark type Pokemon in play. Thanks so much, uh, Richard Farrell, for subscribing. I believe that's on YouTube. Thanks so much for subscribing. Um, next up, we have the brand new Crobat V. Its ability Dark Asset. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. And you can't use more than one Dark Asset ability each turn. So, reminiscent of Shaman X, of course, I'm sure all of you have seen it. You've saved almost 25,000 coins. That's insane. I have like half of that. Um, should be pretty cool to open the packs tomorrow. And then we have Venomous Fang dealing 70 damage and poisoning. If you're using Venomous Fang, you're probably gonna lose anyways. Uh, we have four six seconds and four scoop of net so that we can do extra damage with the attack and also with Headbutt Tantrum to close out some good numbers. We have Hoopa as a non-GX attacker. And thanks so much for the host, Jump22 Films. We have Evil Admonition doing 10 plus 20 more damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon that has an ability. And we have the Evil Tall GX with its Doom Count GX attack, where if they have four damage counters, which with four six seconds and four scoop of nets we can easily accomplish, we just get an immediate one kill on whatever they have. Um, pretty straightforward list overall. We have uh, Marnie's Research Acrobikes Boss, um, Quick Balls and Pokey Gums to search for the pieces that we need, a few switching cards, and the Capture Energy, the beautiful Capture Energy. Um, that allows us to establish even more basic Pokemon. So I'm very excited. No more RNG decks for now. Yeah, let's jump into the ladder and grind out some Darkness Ablaze decks. Should be pretty fun. And we're up against Scarchon, which is actually um, a good friend of mine yeah, from Brave Birds. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, thanks so much to everyone who's here. Really glad to have you. Yeah. Alrighty. So, not the best start, that's for sure. Yeah, no way to find an Eternatus, no Eternatus at all. And we're up against Picarum. So, obviously, right now, there should be very, very, very few people that actually can um, play with the new cards, right? Um, so we're probably gonna end up demolishing this peak run. Uh I'll keep the VMAX and then I'll go ahead and do this. And honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and Marty. One, three, and perfect. Yeah, we got a Crobat, we have a switching card. I'm actually, like, I don't intend on attacking yet. I'd rather keep the Pokecom as a way to access, um, as a way to access my, um, my VMAX or another Crobat, right, as we are seeing. So I can't take a KO even though this guy's weak to dark, so I'm just gonna pass here. Uh, new cards in Data Trade. Do you think Sage and ADP is still the best deck with their rotation? 
Speedbox, I mean, that's really hard to say. Yeah, this is literally the first day of Darkness of Blade, so I can't tell you which deck is the best when I haven't played too much with the cards. Yeah, but um, the stream started just now, Derek, like five minutes ago. Um, Essation ADP will be a very viable deck, yes. It's going to be a very good deck right now, it's going to be a very good deck post rotation. I can't tell you if it's going to be the best deck or not. That's impossible for me to for me to really say yeah all right um eternatus is a pretty good deck sandy scorch is a pretty good deck yeah all of those are pretty viable and pretty good i do have adp station but like what does adp station gain from the new set derek yeah what does adp station gain from the new set i don't think it gains a lot of things if anything at all yeah Mm, turbo patch you can't turbo patch onto adp so why would you play turbo patch in that you know like post rotation yes pre-rotation i don't think you play turbo patch uh okay so i have the air balloon okay well this is not looking very good at all yeah you know we have one kill potential. Uh, I definitely need a Crobat and I need to draw well off of this Crobat. That's not a very good draw. If I could Crobat again, that would be fantastic, but oh well. I'm gonna save this Quick Wall for another Crobat for next turn. I'm gonna go ahead and hit for a very measly 120. We're just drawing a bunch of energies. Yeah, we're just drawing way too many energies. Which really sucks. I think we're gonna lose this one. Well, yeah, I think we're gonna lose actually. That should be Pgrom. Like if my opponent could power up another Pgrom and threaten the attack vault, he'd be in a fantastic spot. CBD Lexer, the stream started literally three minutes ago. This is the first game that I'm playing. Yeah, with the deck. You can take Duraludon in ADP Station for the CDI. Yes, that is true. I have Duraludon in my deck. Mm -hmm. This is literally the first game, and I also disagree. It's not Breaky at all. It's the opposite of Breaky. Yeah, it's actually the opposite of Breaky. It's very fast. We've just gotten some very awkward starts. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, do I want a Marnie? No, because I have the energy. So I get this KO and then all I need is to get a KO on this guy, right? Which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully, I want to keep the quick ball as well. As a quick ball for my potential last Crobat. Do I play Rose? No. Why would you play Rose? Rose is a terrible supporter. This guy in your hand is terrible. Don't play Rose. What new decks are in the in the set besides Eternatus, Senti Scorch, and Vika Volt and Tessidui? I think are the big the big decks to come out. Yeah. Okay, so my opponent needs two electro powers to GXKO me, right? And then I need energy plus boss in order to to win. Because if he has boss then he wins, right? He is down two bosses, however, which is good news. Derek, Rose is a terrible card. Have you read Rose? You charge up and you discard your hand. Discarding your hand is never good. Discarding your hand is never good. And Eternatus only takes two energies. You don't need energy acceleration. It's actually a terrible card rose tower works with it yeah but then you're playing a supporter and a stadium just to get two energies on a vmax that takes two energies to attack or what are you powering up with rose that's so good you know like it doesn't make sense right if you are playing against control no just play more energies man it's a terrible card it's an absolutely terrible card 
It's an absolutely terrible card. Okay, so my opponent didn't GX to protect the Raichu because I guess he didn't have the second of E power. So as long as we find energy on enough Pokemon, we should be able to win. There's the energy. Rose is a terrible card, people. I promise you. Rose is a terrible card. There's no VMAX that's worth ditching your hand. And saying Rose Tower is good with it isn't good either because... Um, because um no because no because then you rely on two cards to attach to energy makes no sense attaching one energy per turn is not useful oh my god derek i'm not gonna argue yeah like rose is not a good card one two three four five six seven oh, i still don't have ko i can't believe this I can't believe I still don't have KO. Nope. Couldn't get the KO. <laughs> Couldn't get the KO. Rose Tower is a good stadium. Rose is a terrible supporter. You can see, like, I'm gonna win or lose not because of energy attachments. Why do I want to attach two energies to alternatives? Generally, why? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Still, oh, nine plus base 10 to 80. He needs two electro powers to kill me. I just play more energies, Derek. I mean, you play Rose if you want to. Yeah? You play Rose if you want to. And then you'll figure out that it's terrible. Control is a thing post-rotation, though. But there's Vico to worry about. And Control has four crushing hammers, which aren't guaranteed heads. It's not like they completely remove all your energy in one go. Yeah? You only need two to attack. You just attach a third one. Rose is a terrible card. And that's, like... A if you can't understand why discarding your hand is a terrible effect, then I'm sorry. <laughs> Time will tell. Exactly. Have you seen any Japanese results? Rose has never been played in any successful list. Control post rotation is is very good, yeah. Because the thing that kept uh, control on in check was um, I think I'm dead. The thing that kept control in check was Dragapult, but now Dragapult is dead. Yeah, now Dragapult is dead because of Eternatus. Hello, Anakin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, nowhere near close. But now I don't have boss to get the KO. <laughs> oh my god. Unless I top deck boss, I'm dead. I can't believe I never got a big power attack. I never got a kill on Pikram. I never got a kill on this guy. I never found my six agrooms. They're all hiding. And I keep drawing this. Okay. So I think my play now is to do this search for a six agoon. And then go do this. And place one damage counter here. I need to get very lucky this turn, but maybe I can do it. I need another scoop of net and another six second off of this research. So my last scoop of net, nope. Uh, very unlucky. Very, very unlucky, honestly. Very, very unlucky right there. Oh well. Like, not finding enough Pokemon to deal your max damage. I kept drawing so many energies, all bunched up. Yeah? And my initial hand and the Marty hand, off of the Crobat, my Acrobats were double energies. Now it's really, really awkward. All right. I would like to go first, yes. How's the deck so far? I've literally played one game. <laughs> the stream started. The guards were legal 20 minutes ago. 
This is the literally the first game. If I'm gonna base it off the first game or off of this hand, then this deck sucks, right? Because look, <laughs> I'm drawing just so badly. I am drawing just so, so badly. But we're up against Dragapult, so it should be fine. You know? And like, I understand there's a lot of questions, guys, but I'm not the know-it-all, be-end-all, you know? Like, literally, this is completely new for me as well. You know? I am not running peers, no. It's hard for me to justify running peers over, um, over research and Marty. Yeah, because like I said, like, what Pokemon are you looking for that you can't already look for with Quick Wall and Pokecom? And what energy specifically do you want? Like you play enough energies and you shouldn't be looking for energies, right? So I don't like peers in this deck or in many other decks, honestly. All right. I'm like, you can't even peers on turn one against um, you can't peers on turn one. Um, okay, I'll keep this and then I'll Marnie. You can't peers on turn one, so you still need to play a bunch of ways to find basic Pokemon to get the basic Pokemon out on turn one, and you still need a bunch of ways to um, to find. Um, you still need a bunch of energy, so peers to me doesn't seem like a good card in this deck. Uh, Pierce is way better than Rose, though. I will tell you that. Pierce is way, 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 way better than Rose. Uh, the Cedar Eye sometime soon? Probably not soon. I think I'd, I'd want to play Eternatus, Senti Scorch, Vika Volt, Scissor, Salamence, and Charizard before the Cedar Eye. Yeah, so probably the Cedar Eye tomorrow. And hello, Grave. Rippled, Rippled indeed. Uh, how are we doing, Exter? Good, thank you. How about yourself? Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm gonna be playing in the last chance qualifier because I think it's I'm gonna stream, but I do intend on playing in the future um, in the future tournaments that you hold. Okay, so literally the damage doesn't really matter where I put it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop up the hoop honestly, because that's my retreat. And then I'll go bench, and then I'll go research. That's two games in a row we've missed, like, a big attack on turn two, though. Which really sucks. Okay, I'll keep the Crobats. Want the extra basics. And then I'll establish another Eternatus. Don't need to draw. Just gonna blow this <laughs> poor Dragapult to little pieces. And I don't know if the Power Plant's working against my opponent or not. He hasn't done much at all, so he's drawing pretty poorly. <laughs> I know I'm absolutely right. Like, I would bet a thousand dollars right now that Rose will never be played in a tournament winning deck in Darkness of Blaze. Yeah, maybe in the future there will be new cards that get better, but you know. Rose is terrible. I feel like, okay, a couple days ago, a friend of mine told me, like, hey, Rose. Um, Rose is really good. Wow, it's so broken. People are not reading the part where it says you discard your hand. <laughs> they're generally just not reading that part. They read the first part and they're like, oh my god, this card is good. And then that last little part, yeah, it's kind of key. Kind of key. The thing is, though, without weakness, you'd only be hitting at 180 or 210 if you bench Crobat CP Lexer. What do you mean? Yeah, like if this guy didn't have weakness, I'd be playing this way differently. Yeah. Peers in expanded seems okay. Yeah, because you got search for for DZ. Peers in expanded definitely. Yeah. And then we got hit. And like Dragapult, it even like it three hit KOs in turn into this. Like Dragapult's not gonna be good. The only way Dragapult could maybe compete is with giant bombs, and even then, it's just it's not good. Yeah, Dragapult unfortunately has been successfully hated out of the format. Uh, let's just Marnie. And then let's just Dread End for 1 million damage. <laughs> Poor Dragapult. My opponent will be like, what? The set's out 25 minutes ago and this guy already has 4 
a 4 4 Eternatus with Crobats. Without the discard effect, the card is completely broken, of course. Without the discard effect, it would be a fantastic card. It would be the card that. It would be the, the really good card that everyone thinks it is until they actually read the full card. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so there's a research. There's Malamar. Like, I guess my opponent just really wants to play, right? Or wants to see the cards in action, because, yeah, there we go. Like, what makes him, con like, what makes him concede there as opposed to all the other previous turns? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what he had in mind. Yeah, maybe he had some secret dark, I mean, fighting type tech card or something that he was planning on using. Because like you can't even tech something like Marshadow Matchamp Tag Team because it only hits for 240, so it's not great, and it just gets killed back a lot of the time. Pulled only last three months. Yeah, that really sucked. If we had our Angurin format, you see the argument that it's an all right card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If Orangru was 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 still legal, the the draw three Orangru, then you would consider it because you can easily discard your hand and then replenish a little bit. Yeah, and yes, the stadium can do that, but the stadium can be easily countered. Whereas Orangru has to be KO, right? And if they're KOing your Orangru, not only do you use Orangru during your turn, right? But like, if they KO Orangru, then they're not attacking your Vmax. But they can actually counter your stadium and attack your Vmax. Or they can play Chaotic Swell and then you can never even play your stadium in the first place. Yeah, yeah Mr. Psychic. I have a I have a demo account, so I I already have all the cards. And I already have all the Darkness of Place cards. <laughs> That's the the beauty of a demo account. Alrighty, pretty good hand, capture energy, we're up against Peak Ram again. Uh, if we get turn one KO, that would actually be bad. So and thank you, Atrey. Thank you so much for the 400 bits. Very kind of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the 400 bits. Okay, because because I could get KO'd here, I'm gonna retreat. Yeah. And I'm gonna retreat into a six again, which I can easily pick up. So this is a strategic a strategic play. Okay, in order to prevent the possible turn one KO by my opponent now. I'm gonna have horrible draw off of the Crobat once again. Like I'm playing 11 energy and I only have four of them. Getting a little unlucky. Could an Absol be useful? Yeah, I, I actually originally had Absol. I feel like Hoopa is also meh in a way. Um, you could just play Absol instead of Hoopa, honestly. There's definitely room for Absol. Um, but I feel like with scoop up nets being all over the place, like what are you really stopping, you know, from retreating? A gift from Rose, thank you very much. Am I still trying for graphics design? Yes, X, yeah, I am. Oh, wait, what do you mean? Trying trying to get someone for graphic design or trying to learn graphic design myself? I am trying to learn about graphic design and I'm, I'm, I'm ho I hope I'm, yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm still learning. Yeah, I'm taking two courses, I'm learning. I hope like my new, I have like a brand new design on the channel, the new thumbnails I made myself. Um, why do you ask, Exia? Why do you ask? I'm curious. Why do you ask? I actually have a lot of homework to do. <laughs> I actually have a lot of homework to do. Oh, wait. Okay, so there's Vika Vault. Nice. My opponent is already playing Vika Vault. Nice. He must have gotten lucky and pulled those. Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's a Thunder Mountain. So there's the item lock. Yeah, I'm definitely still still doing that. Okay, well this is a problem. <laughs> Man, come on deck. Ah. <sighs> Come on, deck. Five out of my 11 energies on turn two. It's just, it's very silly. It's generally very silly. It's 
generally very silly. Do I play any high dark or peers? No, I do not. No, I do not. Education doesn't stop indeed. Yeah, education doesn't stop. I'm taking two courses at once, which was probably actually a slight mistake in a way. Uh, because I've been very hard pressed on time. Yeah, 5 out of 11 energies on turn 2. With no draw supporter, with no draw, with no alternatives, nothing. <laughs> right? Absolutely nothing else to go with that. Like, I wouldn't mind if I had those energies, if I just... Um, I didn't expect big ult, honestly. Otherwise, I would have played the Pokecom for Crobat the previous turn. Uh, okay, well... I could go boss and take a prize. Or I can just attack this guy and get poisoned. I feel like, honestly, I'm in a situation where I need the prize. I actually think I need the prize here. Which is pathetic, right? But what can you do, right? What can you do? Okay, why do we keep getting that bot? There you go. Have your ban. All right. Well, I got a turn it just off the prize cards. I still don't do enough to KO though. I'm missing a basic Pokemon. <laughs> it's okay, Jedi. It's okay. No worries. Those people just need to get perma banned. Okay, so there's a boss. Okay. Please let me top deck a basic. Or a supporter, right? That would be nice as well. Drawing a supporter would be so cute and so nice. Not that supporter though. Well. Oh, Ricori is weak to dark. Nice. Okay, well, I guess that works. I guess. Fine. I'll go ahead and bench this. I already have Crobat on the bench. Zigzag. Okay. So now we just need to KO that Raichu. Which is easier said than done. We get awful prizes. We get a capture energy, so I can finally KO the Vika Volt, right? And at least KO the Vika Ult. My Dragapult's probably not surviving, but if my Dragapult doesn't survive, then at least I can play this, and I can go scoop up net the Hoopa for a Crobat and draw card, so... Ugh. Either we KO Vika, or we KO... or we have items. So I'll take both. Zigzag would have been great. No, because how would I have retreated? Team by Pokemon. How would I have retreated this Eternatus when there's an Absol in play and I had one energy attached? I can't, like, how? Zigzag would have been not good. The previous turn it would have been, but not this turn. Okay. Can we put ourselves at one prize? Yes, we can. Nice. All right, so Hoopa, and we got a Marnie. Wow, the deck being very generous now. <laughs> the deck being extremely generous now. Okay, so I'll do this. And then, okay, I don't expect to be item locked next turn, right? So I think I save my Crobat. I'll just Dreadend for the KO, perfect numbers. Yeah, but even if there was Absol, I couldn't have retreated. Yeah, even if there was Absol, I couldn't have retreated. I had one energy, so I can't attach and retreat and then attach to GX. So that was that was impossible for me to do at that point. And now 250 does get the KO. I wouldn't have to discard anything. And I have a supporter and I have item cards. So I think we're gonna be okay. I think I think we're gonna be okay, which is cool. A switch is the only way to get the lock again. E-switch, yeah, E-switch indeed. Or attack switch, right? But I don't care about the lock. Like if he locks me, I go bench, bench, KO, win. Uh, 
So we don't care about the item lock anymore. And J387, thanks so much. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Okay. So I guess he's gonna promote the Vika Bolts as the thing that can take the most hits or the biggest damage. Removes my power plant, that's perfectly fine by me. Alrighty. So if I had boss, I would also just outright win here. But I feel like I just need a big attack, right? I just need a big attack. What are my stadiums? Two power plants. Two power plants. Two power plants for the stadiums. Alrighty. So yeah, the big ult is just the wall. We need eight Pokemon in play in order to get the KO. Right? Top deck power plant, that's not super useful. Definitely need the energy here. Um, okay, so I'm gonna scoop up net. Okay. Yeah. So I'll retreat. No. Oh, there's Absol, never mind. Okay, so then I'll do this, I'll switch, and then I'll scoop up net, and I'll promote this guy, and then I'll go bench. Sure, I'll bench the hoop again, and then I'll do Crobat for four. Please give me a VMAX. I do get a VMAX, nice. And then we'll go bench, and then we'll go to this. We're missing, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, still one more. Right, still one more. We still need one more. Oh no, we don't. That's eight. That's eight, that's eight. Sorry, my bad, my bad. Yeah, it's seven on the bench, one plus the active. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Black markets. Uh like everyone's gonna be playing stadiums. There's no reason stamp in this. Black market could be good, but I feel like it's way too situational. Um, the dark stadium that gives retreat could be good, but it's once again like Why do you want free retreats? You know when you have air balloons um, You could say space, but I feel like being able to since you're not affected by power plant being able to deny your opponent to DNA um, Seems really good and especially against baby blounts being able to deny a Recorio without actually KOing it also seems really good Yeah And hello Antonucci I guess that's Ryan Antonucci, got top 8 at NA Internets a few, um, a few years ago, and we have a pretty good hand. I'm going to start Hoopa to have protection for my Eternatus. Boosting looks very popular in the new format. Yeah, I'm definitely considering playing um, for... 4... 4... 4... four um, for, I can't speak today. For bosses orders index, I'm definitely thinking about doing that. Okay, we price two crowbats. That's actually not great. That's decent. And then we'll pass. Yeah. The Vs you find dampen the advantage of power plant. It's all about the Denian or Ricorio though. Like I could play black market, yes, but that doesn't really help me against base blunts either. Uh, I feel like a Marnie plus power plant is more likely to help me get baby plants than a Marnie plus black market. Yeah, it's all about stopping the Dene. What, like, yeah, of course, like, you can't stop Vs, but what Vs have abilities other than Crobat and Eldegoss? Um, not too many, right? How many codes should you purchase to build an Eternatus deck? Actually, okay, so if you really want to build an Eternatus deck and you're not pressed to, like, participate in any tournament, and he should wait until the 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 tins and the promo box comes out. Yeah, then it'll be very cheap to build the turn this. Well not cheap, but right now, like I have no clue. I'm not an expert at trading or anything. Um T power plant the Dene. Power plant the Dene. Turn one power plant is as strong as ever. Yeah. Power plant is power plant turn one is as strong as strong as ever. Okay. Just gonna use this doesn't this seems to be like combo combo station maybe so I'm gonna distribute two and two right and then I'm gonna go Marty I 
<laughs> my boy is happy that I helped him out with the Marnie. As long as I can get this KO, I'm okay with helping him out. There's my second Crobat. Please give me some basics. I need three basics. That's a lot. Wow, I got two. Um, I think I value the VMAX more. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I did get it. Gosh, I'm so bad at math today. <laughs> I'm actually so bad at maths, I forget that Eternatus counts itself. Nice. So turn to KO, that's what we want. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, like, okay, so I, would, I, I wouldn't... I also wouldn't mind playing Chaotic as well, to deny your opponent's stadiums. Yeah. If they play the Dennis, you just cost them up. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true, it completely depends on the matchup. If you're a VMAX deck, um, like I'd rather them not set up than set up and bench the tennis, yeah? Because if they bench the tennis and set up their Senti Scorch and you're two hit KOing and they're also two hit you, you don't have time to attack the tennis. Not when it's three prize Pokemon versus three prize Pokemon. If they're smart and they control their bench, it's not as oh they yeah bench the tennis and then you have boss every game every turn you don't have boss every turn either yeah so it's not as as simple as that yeah i've tried chaotic well i've tried power plant if i want to have the best chance at beating baby plants you need power plant if if you're not gonna if you don't care about um baby plants and you just accept that you're gonna lose to it then chaotic well to me, seems way better than Black Market because Chaotic Twelve has the potential. Wow, what a top deck! It has the potential. That's extremely lucky on my part. Uh, Chaotic Twelve has the potential to deny Heat Factory, to deny Wondrous Labyrinth, to deny Thunder Mountain. You know, whereas um, whereas Black Market, you play it and then you hope, and then you might not even get some use out of it. Power Plant, it's the same, but it has destructive potential. Oh, the thing. Oops. <laughs> I forgot about the thing. No! <laughs> I forgot about the metal saucer. I forgot about the metal saucer. Oopsies. <laughs> that was silly. Do you think it turned as VMAX PDIF in this format? <sighs> Once again, like, the cards have been out 40 minutes. I can't say what deck will be best deck in the format. It's a very powerful deck, yes. It's a very good deck, yes. The cards have been out for 40 minutes. I can't say whether a deck is, is good or not in 40 minutes. Yeah, I wish I could, but I can't. Yeah. But it's clearly a very powerful deck. Right? It's clearly a very powerful deck. Okay, I think we still have this, maybe. ADPC will still be pretty good for sure. Okay, give me boss off of the price cards. Give me boss. Well, give me a crowbat at least to dig for it. Oh, okay. Well, that works. <laughs> there we go. That was all. That was the plan all along. Yeah, that was the plan all along. <laughs> wow, I got super lucky there. Super, super, super lucky there. Turbo patch doesn't power up ADP, and you, yeah. Once again, Derek, no. You already have Metal Saucer, which isn't a flip. Yeah. You will play Turbo Part. You will play Turbo Patch once. Um, once we have a rotation, but uh, before rotation, I don't think Turbo Patch fits into ADP station. Like just having Energy Switches and Metal Saucers is better, and Order Pads because Order Pads has the flexibility to become any card you need. Whereas Turbo Patch, you can't Turbo Patch to the ADP. It's a conditional card that's like it's a double conditional card it's the flip but also you need energy into your discard pile and then you still need the energy switch so turbo patch pre-rotation no in adp station turbo patch post rotation yes in adp station because you lose order pad yeah you want to figure prices <laughs> or do you want to look at the list i don't mind showing the list again I did see last game that I had two Probats prized. I definitely knew that. 
Okay, not the best hand, but at least we have Eternatus Energy. Senti Scorch will be very good. You know, Senti Scorch, I really like Senti Scorch. And I 100% think Senti Scorch can go toe to toe with um, Eternatus right now before rotation. And probably, and definitely after rotation. Like, neither deck changes with rotation too much. Like, this build that I have loses, um, loses Acrobikes, and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna bench, I'm gonna attach. I'm gonna go ahead and switch, because I can't scoop up net this guy. And I'll bench again. Wait, did I, what? Did I click no on the Crobat? I clicked no on the Crobat, didn't I? <laughs> Jesus, Paolo. Chat is, is very distracting me today. Oh my god, what a hand. What the heck, man. What the heck? Oh, sorry, I didn't look through it. Well, I had, yeah, I didn't get a deck search. What the heck, man? What is this hand anyway? <laughs> How does this keep happening to me? And why did I bench the Crobat and click no? Oh, I had more than six cards. Yeah, but like, why did I bench the Crobat? What was I thinking? That was a silly. <laughs> that was a silly. Uh, if I don't KO the ADP next turn, I think I lose. That Senti will be infinitely better than the turn. Yeah, I'm not drawing too hot today, for sure, to start off. Why not attach to Hoopa? Because why? That way I can either decide to attach to Hoopa or attach to Crobat. Well, I'm 10 short on the K on the Jirachi. I guess that's how maybe... Like I KO this, this, and this. But without another Eternatus to set up next turn, I am dead. Like, why would you attach to Hoopa when you can always have one energy away from the Hoopa? Hoopa is 20 times. Yeah, if I could have KO'd Jirachi, I would have KO'd Jirachi. Hoopa is 10 plus 20. Yeah, double boss on double Crobat in that game. It's not 30 times. Or wait, okay. Eterna is 30 times, Hoopa is 20 times per ability. So I wouldn't have been able to KO Jirachi. Oh, where's my power plant? Yeah, can't do much versus perfect start. ADP versus terrible start. And it's just like, I have four Crobats, four Quick Balls, three Pokecoms, and seven draw supporters. This is just me being unlucky, it's not the deck. No, it's not the deck. And not go down three prizes? How was it gonna go down three prizes? They hadn't even GX'd yet. And I have three capture energies, but capture energy doesn't help me. I can't. <laughs> capture energy doesn't help me. Um, because it searches for Crobat and places it on the bench, so capture energy doesn't help me at all. I'm dead because of my turbo luck. An attack with Hoopa now? Okay, if my opponent doesn't have boss, I still have a chance here. If my opponent doesn't have boss, I still have a chance, but that's gonna be Eldegoss, yeah. It was perfect start versus nothing. If I killed ADP, then we're not in this situation. No, Capture Energy places it on the bench. Capture Energy places it on the bench. I know we're in quarantine, guys, but it feels like a lot of you haven't read too many cards yet. <laughs> yeah, this this format, like, definitely... I've been playing quite a bit with proxies and stuff, you know? But well, Capture Energy, no, it's not as broken as you would think it is. Um, it's really, really good. It's just not that good. <laughs> it's 
just not that that good. <laughs> you only play Legacy and Expanded Primal Ground, and there you go. Okay, another ADP station. Another ADP station. Okay, I just, I want one energy, please, deck. Just please one energy. Yeah, I have my alternatives. Um, it wanted me to look through a deck. I priced my Evil Tall GX. Yeah, I priced an Acro. I priced two researches and I priced an energy. And uh, so two energy, no, energy, two researches, Evil Tall, a balloon, I think. Please, just any energy. There we go. That's all you want. Yeah, that's all you want on turn one. Thank you so much, deck. Wow, all the energies, I guess. All the energies, I guess. Capture energy, this is pretty good. Yeah, this is pretty good. Turn one capture energy is really, really, really good. Okay, decent. I'll, I'll stick to this. Yeah, and the next turn we go, boom, research. We get a big turn. Instead of Acrobat, is it better to use Judge Whistle? Absolutely not, not Luis. Looking at two cards versus looking at one, like you're only thinking about the fact that you discard a card with Acrobat, but it's not like you play a card because of what it does for you, not what it does against you. Judge Whistle looks at one card and that's it. Acrobat digs deep into two cards and you gain a card of your choice. So definitely no, yeah, definitely no. It's as simple as two against one. If you want to play Judge Whistle, that's because that one time where you Acrobite and you discarded one good card and you kept the other one, yeah? But if you have a tough choice with Acrobite, that means you have, you got two good cards off of Acrobite, yeah? Which is always good. Whereas Judge Whistle doesn't even give you a choice and it digs less into the deck. Yeah, there's absolutely no way um, it's better, okay? Uh, okay, I definitely think I can discard the VMAX and I meant to, oh my God. <laughs> And so I should have clicked on the Pokecom. Jeez, all these mistakes. <laughs> all these mistakes. Okay. I meant to grab the Pokecom and then Pokecom back and then grab a Crobat to draw more cards. But okay. Because now I'm one damage short. Yep. One damage short. Right? Yeah, one damage short. Oh well. I, oh no, we were two Pokemon short. Never mind. So I was not close. If you want to find energy, why would you run Guzma Hala? What? No. You can't play Guzma Hala on turn one. You want to go first. Guzma Hala is terrible. Guzma Hala is terrible in this. Like, Guzma Hala is not better than Marnie or Research. It's absolutely not better than Marnie or Research. Okay, we get boss. That's okay. We have the switch. Yeah, Guzma Allah is not good. Okay, so I need a full bench here. So, and a six second drop on this guy. So I'm gonna search for a six second. Now I do need to get very lucky, right? But I have three energies in my hand. So please deck, stop giving me energies. There we go. That's what we wanna see. Yeah, what a difference to the other game. What a difference to the other game. So I'll place the damage counter here because I might get to a KO on this station. And then there's my full bench. And I even get a power plant. So let's not misclick Paolo because I'm very prone to doing that today. And then boom, boom, boom. Hello, OG term and Pokemon Kid. Thanks so much for being here. Just playing some Darkness of Blaze Eternatus. You just intrepid to turn one. <laughs> yeah, Guzmahala is not like I would definitely play Piers before Guzmahala in this. Is there no regular rare or full art a turn of V or VMAX? Uh okay, so this is the full art. For VMAXs there's only one art and the and the rainbow art. There's no there's no three arts. And for the regular uh, V there is there is a full art but it's a promo so it's not out yet um so yeah that's that's kind of the the difference 
Why am I playing Pokecom over Great Ball, Derek? Because Pokecom says I get to choose a Pokemon. Great Ball is completely random. So I kind of like choosing the Pokemon that I want to use, you know? Like with Pokecom, you might not have a Pokemon and therefore um, you can't use it, right? But with Great Ball, you might like you're not guaranteed at all you have terrible odds of finding the actual pokemon that you do need yeah so that would be why that would be uh, why yeah this is a big blowout like this is what you normally expect out of this deck And yeah, like exactly, like in order for a comp to be good, you need to run enough Pokemon, right? This deck plays um, almost 20 Pokemon. It plays a 4-4 four, 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 four VMAX line, 4 Crobats, that's 12, 4 6 second, that's 16, Evil Tall and Hoopa, so 18. So you have pretty good odds, you know? Pretty good odds. It's pretty nice that the attack is DC indeed, yeah. The attack being DC is so awesome because then you get to play the beautiful capture energy. I've been like for the last two months I, I've been thinking capture energy is one of the best cards in the whole game. Yeah, you know? like having four capture energies and four quick balls in your deck is just insane. Yeah, you know? it really is just insane. Alright. Comedy amazing in legacy where a lot of decks run twenty or more months. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Okay, so Decks running a little bit better or <laughs> getting a little less unlucky. Definitely got unlucky quite a few times in the beginning. It's okay though, it happens. It happens to me a lot, especially. <laughs> you miss warp energy the most? Yeah, I can see that. I Okay, so I think warp energy was completely broken when there was Palkia level X with the costing ability and Gyarados. Like that deck felt like the most broken deck that no one played. If I'd qualified for the Worlds that year, I definitely would have played that. But I didn't play I didn't play Worlds that year. 2011. It's very easy to win with a turn does VMAX in, a, in its early birth because people are not well timed to be prepared to counter this. That is true, Derek. I am very fortunate that I have a demo account. So we are playing against all these decks that probably don't have Darkness of Blaze cards yet. Yeah. So yes, as as more time passes, Eternatus will be a little more balanced overall. And look at this hand. This is such a beautiful hand. Yeah, such a beautiful hand. Do I think Salamence has potential? Okay, Eperusa. So on paper, Salamence looks like a very interesting card, right? On paper, Salamence looks like a very interesting card. But let's compare it, yeah. Let's compare its stats directly to Eternatus. Okay? Eternatus is or rather, Salamence is a three price worth stage one VMAX Pokemon, right? Which its attack does a maximum of 240 damage for four energies, right? Eternatus is the same stage one three price worth VMAX Pokemon whose attack costs two energy, right? So two less than Salamence and can do up to 30 more damage. So when you compare one to the other, there's a very clear winner, right? And then we go into weakness. The turn is weak to fighting. There's no good fighting deck. And if someone says Phalanx in the Phalanx is a good deck in the chat, they're gonna get timed out. <laughs> You've been warned. Whereas Salamence is weak to lightning, which Vika Ult is like a brand new thing that people want to try, and it's a threat, right? And pre-rotation, there's even still Pikram decks. So, ugh, yeah. Like, do you see how like just card for card why would you play salamence when you can play eternatus right <laughs> um so that's my analysis on salamence yeah i'm still gonna feature a salamence deck i'm still gonna play with it but ugh. yeah ugh. i i hope that's very clear right like you want to play salamence because it's your favorite pokemon and you enjoy playing with it have at it you know but if you want to be competitive and you want to have the best chance at winning a tournament i don't think you would ever choose um that over um i don't think you ever choose that over um ooh, so i don't like my chance of finding a switching card honestly but maybe i should try i mean what's the rush though 
right? Like, what's the rush? I'm in a rush to KO that guy. Okay, and then I'll evolve. And then I'll go for... Honestly, I'm just gonna attack here. And then sure, he gets a KO and that's two prizes and that's completely okay. And I have my energy spread out, I have energy attachments, and then I just take KO this guy and then just take three more prizes on that trial hold probably. Um, usually he just loses to Mew and Samacenta. Yeah, so it's, like, it's just, it's too clunky and too slow compared to the other VMAX that does a lot of damage for less energy and is worth the same and has a better structure behind it, so, you know. And OG Therm, thank you so much for resubscribing. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much that means to me. Thank you so, so much. You know? Silent Spread could be fun. Yeah, Silent Spread could definitely be a fun deck to try. Yeah, the, the main attack for Silent VMAX that does 240 is four, yeah? which you can cover with the triple acceleration, but then like you still need another energy. So you're still using two energies to do potentially less damage than the VMAX. So what's the point, right? Spirit Tomb plus new Hoop attack. Uh, HPs are too high for Spirit Tomb, I feel. Okay, so I definitely want to do this for another VMAX. And just go evolve here, and then we'll Crobat for three. I probably should have promoted this guy. That actually might be costly. <laughs> I might actually regret not promoting this guy because if I find capture energy for my energy, so do I fix it? Yeah, I'm gonna fix it. I'm not gonna take risk because if I draw capture energy as my only energy, then I can't attack, right? Then I wouldn't be able to attack and that would really suck. Okay, I'm gonna place the damage counters there because my opponent is down to two scoop up nets. Okay. So I did find energy, that's good. Uh, I'll get the quick ball since I only have another energy and then we'll just take the kill. We are up against a psychic deck and we do see Gengar Q. I don't know what we're up against, but I'm not really afraid of anything. And then if I can somehow get seven damage counters onto the Jirachi eventually, uh, which isn't completely impossible, then I just need to boss KO the Dendy for the win. Yeah. All right, do I have the new Hoopa? I don't think it's very good. You know, I don't think the new Hoopa is very good. Um, you don't have it, or you would have to play like the high dark energy, the stadium and stuff, but I don't think it's great. You know? I don't think it's great. Servers won't let you in. And they wouldn't let me in the first time I tried, but then I just closed, restarted, and it worked. You know? Okay, still wish for a stadium, that's completely okay. We got our hand removed, that's also okay. Like, my opponent has a Malamar, a Fion, a Jirachi, and a Detene, so I'm not really threatened at this point. You got half my other VMAX. I have Crobat for three, Research. Just imagine this deck can expand it. Why though? What makes it so good and expanded? I don't think there's like a good dark type Pokemon to combine this with and expand it. Like dark patch. Oh wait, you know what? Never mind. You're right, Henry. Dark patch and max potion. Wow. Never mind. Yeah. Ooh, expanded alternatives with dark patch and max potion sounds fantastic, actually. Okay, so like, what's the point of doing this? You know, this is what I don't understand. What are you playing towards? What is your win condition if you're my opponent? What is your win condition? Thanks so much for the follow, Kanoko 2003. What is your win condition if you are my opponent, right? What is your win condition? That is something that I don't understand. Um, people who don't like concede in this sort of situation, right? When their main attacker is a dead AGX. Ooh, let's go scoop up net. No. <laughs> Scoop of Net would have been the KO right there. 
I'm gonna keep this in case I need to retreat in case something gets costed. Scoop of net would have win the win there. <laughs> Um, pseudo would is the immediate counter to Eternatus though, for sure, right? There's no reason to run Eternatus over Snorlax and expand it. Uh, yeah, that's true. You can max potion Snorlax just like Eternatus. That's true. I mean, energy-wise, you're less pressured, right? Because you don't need to continually find triple acceleration every single turn. Um, but Snorlax still, I mean, pseudo would kills both decks for sure. And you can't play a Lowland Monk in Eternatus, but you can oh no you can't play a wall and walk in Eternatus. No you can't because it's a psychic type. So yeah, never mind. Snorlax is not better than I mean the Eternatus is not better than Snorlax in expanded. That's true. You can use weakness card energy to negate your weakness. Mm, but there's no good fighting type. Yeah. There's no good fighting types right now. Not in expanded, not in standard. There will be, yeah, Colossal VMAX will be the counter, but there's no way, you know. And, like, there's literally no Pokemon to worry about, you know, literally no Pokemon to worry about. Like, but, like, look, why is my opponent still playing his cards? Why is my opponent still playing? I attack and I win. Why is he still playing everything that he can? This is just a waste of his time and my time. Weakness policy? Weakness policy isn't even in standard format right now. So it's not rotating because it already rotated. Okay, so... They attack and then they leave. What the heck? <laughs> I will never understand that. Okay, so last game of Eternatus and then we'll switch to another deck, okay? Last game of Eternatus and we'll switch to another deck. Alrighty. Your only standard is a combo Zapdos. <laughs> combo Zapdos, so like with ADP and Jirachi Prism. So, decent hand, right? We have Crobat to start off this turn and then Crobat for next turn, so that's good. We do want double six again because we have a chance to one KO um, the VMAX with the right combination of things. Please, nice, energy and supporter. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a greedy person, yeah? I'm not a greedy person. I just like having energy and I just like having supporters, yeah? I really don't want much more. Just like having energy and an Eternatus and a supporter. And that makes me happy. Yeah, that makes me happy. You think Greninja Break may be way too slow? Oof, it's definitely been way too slow for a while, Henry. <laughs> definitely way, been way too slow for a while. Okay, if this had been what? Okay, so we win. <laughs> well, I guess we haven't won yet. No, yeah, we do. Six, seven, I mean, six, seven to ten. KO. Donkey, donkey. Okay, so one more game. Right, one more game. One more game. Yeah, my hand was pretty busted, and then obviously my opponent got nothing, literally nothing. Out. Alrighty. Last game of Eternatus, and then I'm gonna move on to Senti Scorch. Alright, and J Multi, thank you so much. J Mult, a thousand, sorry. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the follow. Mad Party and Expand is broken, 280, turn one consistently. Yeah, because there's, there's more Mad Party Pokemon than Night March Pokemon, right? Senti Scorch is your first pick to a tournament. Yeah, I, I, I like Senti Scorch just a little bit better than Eternatus. A little bit better. What do I want the deck to do more of? Just be more consistent. You know, just give me better hands. <laughs> I would love to have 
six quick balls to get the Eternatus out always on turn one. Um, I don't have to attach capture energy to a non Eternatus Pokemon. Uh, I just want, I just want to have turn one Eternatus turn to Eternatus Vmax with two energy. That's all I want, you know. And a decent combination of influx of basic Pokemon and energy, not this crap. <laughs> not this crap. That makes you sad. You don't want to see Night March be replaced. <laughs> Double B with powerful colorless energy plus martial arts dojo while Miss Maggie's and Electro GX are in format is insane. Last Samurai, last Samurai, <laughs> thanks so much for the follow. Yes, everything you are watching right now will go up on YouTube, Pietro, don't worry about it. Yeah, everything you're watching right now, every single minute of today's stream will go up on YouTube. Black Knight, thanks so much for the follow as well. Yeah, so if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, you definitely should. We're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers. Nice. What a top deck. By the end of um, by the end of the of the year, yeah, I want to finish 2020 with 20,000 subscribers, okay? So, if you haven't subscribed yet, that would be very very kind of you. Um, okay. My opponent could KO me, right? So I'm not gonna scoop up net the six second one just to deal 30 damage to a Jirachi. Not worth it at all. I have Switch, I have Eternatus. Uh, sure, I'll draw two cards right now with Crobat because then that means next turn I can also use another Crobat. And then that's it. If my opponent uses Charizard to KO six second, I'm completely fine with that. There you go, Pietro. Yeah, everyone, everyone who's present right now on Twitch can say hi to the future people on YouTube. Yeah, so you literally, if okay so if you could send a message to your future self right now yeah you can do it right now or if you want to send a message across across time and across space and time right you can send a message right now to someone in the future and who's probably watching from a completely different place in the world than you are yeah so whatever you type on twitch right now get seen at a different place and at a different time in the future yeah how's that for a sci-fi uh movie idea where twitch streams are used to communicate information between time and space <laughs> there you go jake there you go this fossils your man and you have a degree from oxford there you go team five pokemon so in Tableman streams, you learn about time travel, you learn about competitive Pokemon, you learn which supporters are not good like Rose, yeah, you know? which Pokemon are not good like Phalanx. Just useful all around, right? Just useful all around. All right. I should probably be Acrobiking first. Uh, like, I don't care about Power Plant, probably. Delvia and Palkia and Tableman tag team, exactly. <laughs> I think I kind of want the six second more. I mean, I expect my opponent to be playing scoop up nets. So if I can get an extra prize card on a Jirachi at some point, then that would be really nice, right? Don't know what my opponent has, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I don't know if I wanted to Marnie or not, but I guess we're not using Marnie. Now, can this guy KO me next turn? He can, right? That's actually a little scary. I could get KO'd by a seven energy Charizard. So if he has Welder, hmm, maybe I got a little too over eager here. If he has Welder, that's a dead Eternatus VMAX. Oh, okay, so he needs Welder, Rare Candy Charizard. And that's it because he has the energies so now i think about it i should have grabbed the power plant oh i think i'm dead <laughs> i think i'm gonna lose to charizard with a turn to the max people are going for shaming x for five da packs is that very cheap they can't one shot you without a modifier wait they get six energy no because they still they can still search like if they welder two 
right? They have three right now. They will there two more. Do they have a maximum? No, it's so if they if they get welder two plus attachment three plus then their ability they can get up to eight. Yeah, the ability. Well, that giant hearth probably means welder. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm probably dead. Black Knight, thanks so much for the follow. I don't think I said thank you. Welder or Vitality Band. Yeah, or a six a good draw, right? But if they don't do it, then they are dead. Okay, they didn't immediately grab the Welder. They didn't immediately grab the card, so that usually tells you that they're like, ah, uh, and then they're disappointed and they're thinking about what else to grab because they didn't grab the card they needed. So the speed of the Jirachi, a lot of the time, tells you like whether you're dead or not. And like, if they immediately show the card that they needed to make you dead, then you know you're dead, right? But if they don't, then you know you're probably safe. Big sad how type review removed. I, I disagree. I think type review being removed is good. Okay, so six energies. Will my opponent hit me for 330 damage? Or is he gonna be like, nah, I'll just chill here on the bench. Well, no, it looks like he's gonna, yeah. And that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense. Why would you? Okay, that was, a, that was like bad. You don't fire Crystal and then Cynthia. 10 damage off. Okay. So now, he has 130 HP left and he has one, two, three, four Pokemon abilities. So that won't work. So I could KO Ricorio here. Is that worth it? I don't think it is. I think I'd rather force him to continually set up Charizards, right? That seems way better. Because then I might actually survive. Like, he could kill me with Ember. <laughs> he could actually kill me with Ember. But, yeah. Think for a second plant? Nah. Nah, because Welder doesn't matter anymore. Because I can target whatever, whatever. Like, Welder was important in that one turn, you know? Yeah, I agree, Derek, I agree. Yeah, Type Preview being gone is a good thing, I think. Yeah, because it does affect some decisions. Yeah, it does affect some decisions. It definitely affects some decisions. Okay, I'm gonna go run for some water whilst my opponent plays. the ember ko <laughs> okay so this turn i go after the charizard clearly this guy only has 10 damage still okay so ko charizard is the plan here mm, i would love a marty for the turn after that but eh. okay so that means my eternity survives next turn pretty much guaranteed right yeah wow i almost thought i didn't have knockout for a second there <laughs> uh yes you can francisco i just i'm not very good at trading questions because i don't trade a lot i'm gonna have to learn a lot for this new set um, in order to update my other account because it's a demo account, but I'm sure someone in chat will be able to help you, you know? Okay, so there's the third Charizard. Trust 
trading on day one is the best time to trade, Jake? Really? I thought it would be the opposite. Yeah, I don't. Well, the thing is, I do CPD Lexer because I still need to update my regular accounts in order to participate in the future players' cups. Yeah, I'm talking about players' cups. Yeah, um, I I believe I will be able to use my demo account in Pog. And in the online tournaments that I'm going to be playing in this weekend. Yeah, if you guys are interested, there's there's like a weekly Saturday night league challenge held by Pokex, and there's a weekly essentially league cup held on the Sunday open server tournament. So I'm definitely going to be playing those. If you have new packs, you can buy anything really cheap, but like. Within three months, you probably already um, you probably already had everything from the previous sets, right? So like, what I want to buy is things from the new set, and things from the new set are especially expensive, I think, right? Alrighty, so that will be all for Eternatus.